So hi guys. I am not a dad yet, hopefully, but I'm an uncle. <laughs> so I'm an uncle to two boys named Sean and Francis. So I've been taking care of them since they were young for a while to help with my sister. And I noticed something very interesting. The number of diapers they use in a single day. It is mind blowing. So I got to wonder, where do these diapers go? Because we just throw them away. So apparently in Kenya, we consume 800 million diapers in a single year. This translates to 2 million diapers used every single day and disposed of. So where do they go? So for us, they're ending up in our drainages where they're blocking them, the rivers where they're polluting the water and causing waterborne diseases, and the Indian Ocean where they're now becoming a threat to marine life. So I wondered who is coming up with the solution, and I, Peter Gashanja from Leafy, has a solution for this. We use these diapers to make a clean fuel that can be used at homes. We sell this fuel to informal settlements at a rate of 1.03 euros per litre. So Nairobi is home to the biggest slum in Africa. The people living in this space, Kibera, which is a slum, people living in this space live in poverty. And they therefore opt to use dirty fuels, which cause a lot of indoor pollution. These people die due to this pollution. Now, it causes 8 to 10 percent and also has a lot of health risks where people get blind as they turn uh, due to age later on, and even the children develop lung difficulties. So having this in mind, we ch chose this as our target market to offer them, one, a fuel that is cost effective, and two, that is clean, that eradicates the indoor pollution. So for our customer, we're giving them a fuel that is cleaner, that is going to save them, for instance, 0.7 euros every single week to use our fuel as compared to use charcoal that they use at the moment. Furthermore, it's easier to light up. The stability of the price is constant, and there are zero carbon monoxide emissions, therefore no risk of dying due to, due to poisoning. To make our product, we collect diapers, um, clean, shred, and separate the materials. We then chemically treat and process part of these materials to make our fuel that burns with 35.8 megajoules calorific value. This part of this chemistry is patent pending. Um, to better understand our customers, we visited 20 households, 10 of which we are already selling to, and we think three key assumptions. One, that a change is desired. Two, the cost is acceptable considering the benefits of this fuel. And three, the safety issue is of concern to the consumers. We then learned that yes, our product is cleaner, safer to use, and the cost is acceptable. So for our financials, we are targeting to make a profit of 6,580 euros in a year with a, having a market share of 25% of a 20,000 market, with our key drivers being the price of the product, the cost of the product, and the market share. So for our climate, we are reducing the CO2 emissions of our beachhead market by 91%. And furthermore, we are also mitigating the methane emissions from dump sites that takes place when these diapers are disposed of to the dump sites and, and, by, and degrade through the 500 years that it takes. We are also going to have cleaner fields, rivers, and oceans. Uh, to do this, I have an amazing team of Dennis Muguta, who is in CEO, um, Florence, who is amazing with numbers, myself, who is good with people, hopefully, um, and <laughs> Melvin, who is in research and development. And we are hoping to create fuel for 20,000 homes by in five years, work with two community-based organizations, and involve them in, in waste management systems, therefore creating jobs and attain a valuation of 430,000 euros in the next five years. Thank you. <laughs>